everyone, as always, thanks for coming to check out my video today. In today's video, I'm going to be installing a GPS device into, an, uh, into a Ducati motorcycle. Um, if you go back and look through my channel, uh, I've made several videos now on GPS devices, and one of the questions that I've got a couple times now has been, hey, can you do a video on how to install a GPS device in a motorcycle? So, that's what I'm doing. A company called Links Up has sent me to some devices to look at, and so I've decided to take one of those devices, and I'm going to be putting them in a friend's uh, motorcycle. And um, I'll show you what that motorcycle is in just a minute. Anyways, the device that Links Up sent me, it's a wired, uh, it's a wired device, and I'll put a picture up of the device right here. And I'll also put a description of the device, device down below and where you can buy it at. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the garage and get started and show you what we're working with. First, we'll take a look at the harness. Now, this is a five wire harness, but we're only going to be using three of the wires, the red and the black for 12 volt power, and we'll be using the white wire for the ignition to tell the device if the bike has been turned on or off. Now, the yellow and green wires we will not be using, and I'll put a description of what those are for down below. And this is the bike, it's a 2013 Ducati Hypermotard, and we're going to install the device under the seat. So the first thing we're going to start with is uh, we're going to go ahead and move the seat. Now one of the things that's nice about this bike is that the seat just pops right off. Now, if you're planning on doing a GPS installation into your motorcycle, obviously every installation is going to be a little bit different based on the motorcycle and the GPS device that you're installing. So for this motorcycle, we are going to be using the the back of the fuse panel for the ignition power and we're going to be using the OBD plug for the constant power. So we're going to start by pulling this bracket off the top so we can pull out the fuse panel and get a little more room to the back of it because we're just going to be cutting on the wires and splicing into it. Here's the back of our fuse panel. We're gonna use the wire on the far left, which is actually the key sensor fuse. We're gonna cut that and splice the white wire into this, but we're gonna test the voltage just to make sure that we get 12 volts when we turn the bike on, and that it goes off when we turn the bike off. So here the bike is on, we get 12 volts. I'll turn it off now, and the voltage goes back to zero. Next, we're gonna get started on the OBD plug. For this bike, the OBD plug is located just below the fuse panel, so we're going to go ahead and take the cap off and we're going to test it just to make sure that we are getting the constant 12 volt power that we need out of our OBD plug. Now, the purpose of the constant 12 volt power is to ensure the GPS tracker always has the ability to report its location even if the bike is turned off. All right, now that we have located a source for vehicle ignition power behind the fuse panel, as well as a source for constant voltage, we're gonna go ahead and start to install the GPS harness. I'm gonna start by cutting the red and black or negative and positive wires behind the OBD plug. Next, I'm going to solder in the red and black wire from the GPS harness. get started wiring the GPS ignition wire into the key sensor fuse wire. And the reason we only have one wire is because the ground wire is shared with the OBD plug.
All right, now at this point, we have all our wires soldered up. So we're gonna go ahead and start buttoning everything back up and then we're gonna run some tests and see how it works. The device is now plugged into the GPS harness and it is positioned where it's going to sit at under the seat. So we're going to secure it in just a minute, but we're going to go ahead and turn the ignition on and we're going to go ahead and see what kind of reaction we get out of the device. The device is powered on, it's got blinking lights, which means it is communicating with the satellites. So we're going to go ahead and secure it until we can get some Velcro on it. We'll go ahead and button the seat back up and that's it. And that was it. It was a pretty straightforward install. This was simple. This was uh, actually a lot of fun for me. Um, as you saw in the video, there are only three wires that had to be soldered in. The hardest part was just trying to figure out which wires uh, we wanted to connect to. Uh, as I said in the video, every bike is going to be different. If you have questions, uh, please leave them down below. I'll do my best that I can to answer those questions. And um, yeah, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe to it. In the next video, I'm going to cover the software for the device that we installed. So I'm going to show you what you actually see on your computer and what you see on your smartphone. And I'm going to talk about uh, some of the other settings on the GPS device itself. So yeah, just make sure you come and check out the next video. As always, thanks again for watching.